What's going on, Wise the Shifters? Welcome back to another video. My goal is to give you as much as I can on a daily basis. So today, I want to talk to you guys about the what if condition, the maybes. So as an individual, you have to really think about the what ifs in society. And those could be thoughts of like, what if my water turned off and it doesn't turn back on for the rest of the month or for the rest of the year? Those are probable, probable. And we don't know. Things can go in either way directions. Those are the what ifs because the society that we live in is something that is really unsure and is unpredictable. And the moment that you come to a realization that hey I am responsible for myself and also I am responsible for my family I can't depend on others nor the government or anyone who is in power because when it comes to it if things ever get bad or ever get worse no one is coming to save you and as harsh that may sound it's reality, it's the truth. Those are the what ifs. So I want to read to you guys quickly something that I came across by Dr. Savy. Um, if you guys know, if you know, you know who, who I'm talking about, Dr. Savy. Um, he says, I quote, it's society that keep cares, uh, society that keeps cares a secret so they can continue to sell medication for a huge profit is not a real society but a huge mental asylum unquote so as i ponder on that thought but by dr Savi, it gets me to realize that hey why don't you investigate or learn about medicinal medicine or herbal medicine for yourself to either a keep yourself healthy or b to have remedy in the pocket in the tuck ready if anything comes along such as a minor headache or a stomach ache or anything of that nature because if you realize it i don't know about you guys who are watching if you ever took a trip to the hospital the number one thing that I can give a doctor or the hospital the credit on is they are good at diagnosing you with whatever ailment or issue that you're dealing with, right? Because they have the tools and necessary uh, modern medicine techniques and know-hows. But what if they are on a agenda to really to continue medication to keep you medicated um, through either how can I say, an agenda or their own self-greed. You don't know. Reason I say this is because a couple of months back, I was dealing with a skin issue. And I visit a few dermatologists and I, three. On the third one, I kind of like stopped. Reason being, the first one, I kind of gave her the benefit of the doubt, maybe because she wasn't sure what the issue that I was dealing with. By the second dermatologist, I was able to get a pretty much good idea based on the clinic, uh, clinical diagnose from the dermatologist that it was a uh, bacteria of some sort, right? By the third one, they, all of them were prescribing me different medicine but one had one in common, was one in antibacterial medicine. And after that visit and, and realizing that, one, the clinical uh, diagnosis was accurate, but yet the medication was something that was, something that was really, what they was really trying to push. Reason being, they did not take the time to really send how could I say samples to any labs to really get to the bottom of things but the first uh, thing that came out of their mouth was that here I want you to take this medicine but yet 
I'm thinking here, I'm sitting and thinking to myself, you haven't even really go in depth to really figure out what else or maybe what alternative out there that I can definitely use, but you want to prescribe me some sort of medicine and, and come to find out researching some of these medicine without naming them what they are they were something that i would have to continue to be on until they so they say or oh, i see it fit now to an average individual that seemed normal and we have been conditioned to think that it is normal our body is really really a self-healing organism or the owner, if you believe in God and not, I do. I believe the Creator have created this body for it to be self repaired in many instances. And of course, you have your variables such as if you get hurt, get cut, whatever. Even in that, if you properly, of course, treat your womb, it will heal itself, right? And even uh, chronic illnesses, sometimes by a change of diet, it will recover as if it never was there. I've seen people that were in stage three and stage four cancer and they recover and they're a cancer survivor. Um, and this is the thoughts and ideas I want you to really think about the what ifs, because a lot of companies, they're not, they're, they're not, they're not existing to be, how can I say it? The best company, but yet they have one thing, which is to really make money. And the moment that you try to take that away from them, you are a threat. Just by me talking about this topic, I have to be very careful on what I say because anybody can be a threat to these companies because their goal is to make money. So the what ifs are really unknown but the moment that you get close to finding the answer either you get shut down or cancel or suppress because they don't want that information out there but if I can just reach a couple of people or just maybe one to really have you think about the what if my goal is, I have accomplished my goal because more like minded people like me uh, or think about similar thought can definitely make a difference because that type of thinking or ideology is good because you're really going to be thinking about the what ifs and how you may so uh, come across solutions and hopefully you're able to help one another with just me doing what I'm doing right now is helping somebody because I know if I can get you to think the what ifs you're not just going about your daily lives, just flowing through life without considering the alternative or the maybes and the things that you probably not even thinking about because you have been programmed to just go through life just to work and do other things without even processing critical thinking or doing critical thinking, should I say. And today's video is just, just about that. Think about the what ifs. If you were to come back on, great. It's your chance to really to put some of it away or store some of it away. If you were able to get something on sale that's non-perishable, get a few extra of them, store the other way. If you able to save um, some money, take a little bit of it, invest in hard asset that you know if anything were to go wrong in society you still be able to survive and help your family so today's video is really me and my thoughts and hopefully that the information i have shared thus far really help you um i see you guys in the next video you know what to do go ahead subscribe if you haven't already if you're new here consider subscribe these are the kind of content i provide and also, if you are a returning um, viewer, go ahead, subscribe. It's free. Like the video, share with someone. And most of all, in the comment below, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the what ifs and the, uh, very, you know, the small things and how we can maybe help one another. I'm all about helping one another and building this community um, 
Why the shift is just that, shifting the mind, body, and soul.